flying overhead or my Atari 1600 coming back to haunt me no it's neither it's my Thorpey camouflage when I put a rocket archer in front of it let's talk about it so I was laying out a new pedal board and um, before I custom soldered cables I laid out all my pedals to see if they jived with one another I mean, you should really do that it's it's a headache saver and I stumbled upon this bad clocking noise. Now, if, you, if you've arrived here, then you probably know that the camouflage is a newer, re more refined version of the famed Electro Harmonics Electric Mistress. Arguably the best flanger pedal ever made. I mean, it's the sound of Andy Summers and the police. I love it. They're funky, they're noisy, they're quirky, they're awesome. Um, but the clocking noise is never this bad. Um, now, I couldn't afford to buy a brand new one. I bought one third hand. Uh, and I was concerned that maybe a previous owner had opened the pedal up and fiddled with the internal trim pots, which is a real pain in the rear to, to fix because you got to have an oscilloscope. You got to know what you're doing. Um, so I was, I was at a standstill and I took a chance at going on the Thorpey website and there's a chat line and I typed in a question and that man got back to me immediately. And he, he, he said, at first he said, well, it's an analog circuit and that's the characteristics, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I'm not out of my mind. This is real bad. I mean, I watched every online video that I could find on YouTube and they were never this noisy. I mean, they're a little noise, but, uh, so he said, okay, well, let's look at what you have in front of the device. What pedals do you have in front? He said, what do you have right before that pedal? I said, well, I've got a rocket archer. And he said, well, that's your problem. He said, because a rocket archer has a charge pump, which a charge pump boosts the pedal from nine to 18 volts. There's a lot of pedal companies out there that do that, right? And all Klon circuits jump from nine to 18 volts, from my understanding. But he said the rocket archer operates at 20K, which is the exact frequency that the camouflage uh, oscillates. He said, so that's why all the excessive, excessive clocking noise happens. So th th I just, I thought, you know, there's got to be some dude out there like me that's going, well, it's just noisy. It doesn't have to be that noisy, man. Um, if you've got a rocket archer in front, that's just the problem. So you know what I'll do? I'll turn the guitar on. What I'll do, I'm going to make a little noise here but I will unplug it. See, noise stop. I'll go, I'll go one step further. I bought a Tumnus by Wampler, which is a great sounding uh, Klon style pedal. And let's see if the Tumnus does the same thing. So I'm about to, I'm about to plug the Tumnus in in front. Nope. No, it doesn't. It's the Rocket Archer. So, I'm not sure what the Tumnus has got going on, but I love my Rocket Archer. I love all my Rocket pedals. They're amazing. Um, so I just put it afterwards. I put the Rocket pedal afterwards in. There is no problem. I thought that it might mess up my gain stages. Nope, it's perfectly fine. So there you go. There's some guy out there or some girl out there that's running into this issue and doesn't want their pedal board to sound like a, an old video game, um, in, you know, in between while they're trying to play. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you do me a, a kind favor and please like and subscribe, that really helps. I really appreciate that. Much love to you and have a wonderful day.